In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the application of InMotion for Inventor uh, Dynamic Simulation. We have uh, two parts in this assembly, housing which is a cylindrical hollow object and we have a bob which is also a cylindrical object. Now we define a mate constant between these two. So I select the cylindrical surface. also the second cylinder surface now you can see that uh, a cylindrical joint is placed between these two now we go to in motion that gets listed under environments we go to in motion and uh, in motion uh, begins to start up uh, in motion gets loaded and uh, as you can see we have the joint converted a constant converted into cylindrical joint now we define uh, gravity inside this and since you are uh, looking at minus y direction so you will define it as minus 10 say ok now I'll just give a brief introduction of dynamic simulation ok this is the part we have we have an angle of say 45 degrees and the uh, gravity is acting in the minus y direction mass of this uh, block is around uh, 4. Point, uh, sorry 0 0.6745 kilograms force acting on pendulum in the downward direction this uh, f is uh, 6.745 newton that is m into g and uh, we have theta is 45 so the reaction force that will be acting on this uh, cylindrical joint it's of the order of uh, mg sin theta that is 4.768 newton similarly joint force that is acting in the direction of the joint is also equal to 4.768 newton now uh, we will determine this reaction force from in motion okay now we have defined gravity and we go to simulation player and say we simulate from 0, 0.0 to 0 0.2 seconds okay we are done with the simulation and we'll just say playback to see how it works so basically the force is acting on the bob and because of which like it is get going downwards and since it is constrained so it has to go into the cylinder now uh, we'll check how the force torque looks like so we right click on the joint concern joint and we have a force torque graph that's probably not visible uh, since I have reduced the screen size so yeah, as you can see it's uh, 3.37 that is the order and uh, since the decimal is very small you can assume that it is 3.165 that is in y direction similarly so I have an update button down the, again this is 3.3716 and if I look into the magnitude of it it comes to around 4.768 so that was same as 4.768 so now you can see that reaction force that we had calculated is the same as what uh, in motion gives us so, okay uh, now uh, we will add uh, force to the cylindrical joint I go to define force so since I have tested it I need to put a minus sign here because of the different uh, okay I read as point f minus 4 Newton click on OK again go to simulation and start simulation it's done so I play back now the minus 4 Newton is being acting in the upward direction uh, that is acting in the plus y direction and gravity was acting down so and as you can see the moment is movement has come down because of the reduced force now we'll do quick uh, check instead of minus 4 let's put minus 5 and see and again we go to simulation player I go to simulator simulate it's done let's see since now we have ex uh, as you can see it has a slow movement in the upward direction okay it's done and uh, for the uh, pendulum to be in uh, equilibrium 
let's put the same value as uh, 4.768 4.768 newtons so by doing so now you can see that the pendulum is almost at still so this uh, shows that how we can use dynamic simulation to determine uh, different characteristics of a system this is for just two bodies and uh, we'll consider more bodies in coming tutorial thank you